In this mass society when people are ravaged by poverty, war and globalization, it is the children who have to struggle most. Some are sent out by their disadvantaged parents to work or beg for a living while in the streets. Others have lost their families through war or illness and some have simply been abandoned because they have become too much of a burden in their homes. These street children scramble to maintain the most basic form of existence in the streets, most of them taking drugs when they can and even malnourished and sometimes sick. To what does the society all the individuals that have taken the initiative of caring for the abandoned orphan and vulnerable in it? In our own quiet way established its project in Kakamega in the year 2001 by Bernadine Angalusha. Born and raised in a humble background in Kenya, Kakamega as an orphan. We started in 2001. We have in a home where we build 55 children. We are supporting and uh, they are going to school. The children have no parents, totally orphans. And we are supporting them with school and also food. And the children around the area come also for meals here. Born and raised in a humble background in Kakamega, Kenya, as an orphan shoe, supported by a teacher to pursue her education. I have known Bernadine. As a people of mine, I taught her in primary school when she was a young girl. And uh, Bernadine came from a less fortunate home with a single mother bringing her and her sisters up. While in primary school, I saw some passion in her. And uh, because she came from a less fortunate home, we, I felt the need to assist her in one way or another. Madam Margaret Elego, her teacher and her mentor. She also runs a project that supports the needy and the vulnerable in the community. I come from a very poor family and uh, I had problems to go to school. I didn't have school fees, I didn't have money for school uniform. I was supported and this is why I would like to give back to the community and uh, this is what I'm doing now. I feel it's a call in me. I feel I have to fulfill this The call. very nature of her desperate existence played a significant role in her dream on supporting the need in the society. Living and working in Goldberg, Germany, she supports children. So we have really a burden to feed them and we are supposed to look in future so that these children get um, uh, training so that they can also sustain their lives in future. The village school was donated by the company Electrical Wall in Kleinbach. It is in a small village about 20 kilometers from Kakamega town. The school has hostels, a hall and other structures in the immediate vicinity for the adoptees. The facility has expanded considerably since its establishment and currently has a total of 55 orphans. It has a number of well wishes and donors who support the program. Their focus lies in children and adolescents, which enables a better future for the disadvantaged in the community. They achieve this primarily by the fact that they finance them to get good education and training. Praise your name, I will praise Jehovah. Praise your name, sing Jehovah, 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 sing Jehovah, Jehovah, sing Jehovah, 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 sing Jehovah, Jehovah. 
over. I will lift your holy name. I will lift your name. I will lift Jehovah. Lift your name. Sing Jehovah. 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 Sing Jehovah. My name is Weta Brilliant. I'm in form two. A St. Agnes girl, Shibuye. I joined this home in the year 2013 when I was in class 7. I have really benefited from this home. The facility has employed a number of individuals to work in various departments. Maurice Omuchai, a farm attendant within the premises of the orphanage, grows slow growing foods in the facility. Nashugulika na slow food garden ambao yuko kwa premises ya orphanage na tunapenda kupanda chakula ambacho kinahusiana na udongo wa huku hiyo udongo haiwezi kuchukua chakula ambao ni foreign na hiyo garden inasaidia pia watoto wajifunze kufanya kazi na kupanda chakula cha kienyeji John Wafula deals with the building and construction in the facility Lipo kutana na Pena 9 alikuwa na mradi wa ujenzi kusaidia makao ya watoto kuchenga makao ya watoto na kanichukua ili tuweze kusaidiana na nikaanza kumsaidia kuchenga makao ya watoto na upande wangu ni kwamba namshukuru Pen9 kwa ule msaada ambao ananipa upande wangu kibinafsi kwa sababu amenisaidia kwa sababu ni ninakaa na watoto ambao ni mayatima wa ndugu yangu marehemu aliwajia watoto sita na kupitia kwa Pen9 kwa sababu ya kunipa kazi ya, ya, ya mjengo kusaidia wa mjengo ya watoto wa mayatima nimeweza kusomesha hawa watoto wawili wamemaliza university na wawili wako secondary kupitia kwa Pen9 kwa sababu ya ile kazi ambayo ananipa kwa ajili ya kusaidia watoto mayatima na hiyo nimefurahia sana nimeshukuru na nimuombea Mungu aweze kumbariki sana na saidi apate msaada saidi ili asaidie na wengine ambao wanahitaji msaada wake despite of the considerable progress quite faces a number of challenges the major being lack of adequate finances to support the increasing number of orphans yeah we need more sponsors to come in and take children like a personal sponsor for a particular child and if uh, we have such many sponsors then we uh, our lord is uh, very light we also need a lot of machines maybe to to train those ones who have already finished school we need uh, more clothes for the children we need more people also to visit the facility so they can see what they can help we need also finances in different areas because food for the children and also the children who come from around you know we have to feed them because they just come in and we cannot deny them a meal they come from very very poor families Rogers a teacher by profession is tasked with the responsibility of ensuring that the adoptees and other needy students receive education he receives support from quiet way except for challenges such as that is i don't have a, a, a where where those kids are land it's a rented a rental place and I think if I get some a place where I maybe we can build a place a good learning. Um, Bernardine has really helped us in uh, giving out uh, station, uh, stationaries. On 18th November 2015, with the aid of Lotta, a Germany donor friend, a foundation was laid in a new plot of the facility to build a center for simple training techniques to the adoptees and the community. Father, we come before you just to thank you for this work. And even we just ask you, Lord, that you will cause people to come and help this work from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. I think the building, we, we put the building in a scale into this plot here. Uh, we put the building in the back of this plot. Uh, so we got enough space uh, in the way from the road uh, to, the, to the house plan the toilet behind this rocks there and a septic tank in the near of the road. Und dann morgen gehen wir Material kaufen und wir bauen dann diese Bildunghaus hier, kommt dann hier ein Schreiner. 
And here we want to put something which will sustain the children from the orphanage. We want them to have a simple skill so that as they grow up they can do something. We want to put up three big houses and aside we shall have a store and also an office. Since its existence, a number of individuals have benefited from the facility. Lynnet Mushira, one of the beneficiaries of Quiet Way, is an orphan since her childhood, has been able to study and now she has started a kindergarten early childhood center. I met Bernadine two years ago. I was passing through challenges in raising money to pay my school fee. Bernadine stepped in and she assisted me in raising my school fees. I am an orphan. Eric Luvembe, an electrical engineer by profession, a beneficiary of Quietway, is a happy young man dealing with the electrical department in the facility. My, my, my sister's mom called Bernadine, took care of me when I was still a little boy. They educated me from standard one to standard eight, then I st from standard from Form 1 to Form 4, he was supporting me, paying for me school fees. Then he took me to college by the help of mom called Sibella. After college, now I, I, I went to college to train for technician in electricity and in solar fittings. I need support, big support from Quiet Way to also to educate the young, young children, young guys who comes from college to come and learn and be technician like me. Besides running the project of the orphans, Quietway facilitates other different projects aimed at eradicating poverty in the community. It has a number of women groups. Shikangania Women Group, a group that principally provides help locally in form of helping people help themselves. They grow food groups to support their families. From Providence Women Self-Help Group, we are 13 members' objectives to help members in social problems, to orphan widows and widowers. To Maini Women Group, a group founded by Bernadine Angalusha to support HIV positive women, the group is supported by Franz Bills, a Germany friend. <laughs> So far the group has a sewing machine, an incubator, a photocopy machine, but lacks a place to install the equipment for business. They have started a foundation to build business rooms on purchased plot but face financial constraints. Through the project, the women can increase their income and also sew school uniforms for their own children. Sasa tulijikasa sa group na kufanya arambe kidogo tumepacheza kashamba na hata tumeanza msingi. Sasa hiyo msingi kuisha ni shida. Tunaomba tu bena wakati anapoenda huko pamoja na bishop wetu watu support ili vitu yetu isikae hivyo kwa maana sasa tumezuweka pamoja na hasuwezi kufanya kazi pamoja. Hata tunakamili machine kakuziaga hiyo vyakula vya kuku. E, upande wa support bena ameweza kutu, e, kutusaidia na ngombe wa maziwa e, ambao mmoja wetu huyu kunywa e, maziwa ana mayatima aliwachwa na watoto watatu ambao pia wanaishi na virusi yeye pia anaishi hivyo alituletea maji katukimbia maji iko huko tunakunywa maji sasa hata tukiwa na feeding program e, hatuna shida yote
thank God that we are together and um, for their efforts, they are always happy and we are always together and we also hope and um, I thank God for all this. Mm. Every day is a new day, we have the sun and we thank God for this and we pray that whatever they are doing, their project, the plot they are bought, that God may just bless us to find funds to complete so that they can work. You know, mm. they are working hard so that they can work hard and complete this project and they can support the orphans they have. This is my prayer. It also has some youth group. Samson Munyoho, a chairman of the youth group under Quiet Way. Ichi chama tumeanza muda, tumeanza miaka miwili mitatu ilio pita. Na tulipo anza chama, tulikuwa wadaifu sana kwa sababu watu kukua tunapata uh, usaidizi ama tulikuwa atuna pesa lakini tulipo kutana na dada yetu Bernardin alieza kutushugulikia sana kuone ya kwamba hii chama chetu cha youth group kimeendelea hadi wakati ambapo tuko saa hii he has engaged his group in brick making as an income generating activity tumeendelea sana tumenunua tuko na ngombe mbili katika chama tuko hata na kuku kwa ajili ya kusaidia wanachama na katika kikundi chetu cha wanachama tuko watu kumi na saba na tunapoenda round huwa tunaangalia katika kila mwanachama mwenye ako na udhaifu kile ambacho tumepata kidogo tunasaidia kwa ajili ya kuinuana kwa ajili ya maisha kwetu we also leads a project in ensuring clean water Access to clean water has been a challenge in different parts of the community in Kakamega. Kwatwe has initiated the construction of a central water fountain where it uses the craft resources on site and so far Kwatwe has done 25 boreholes. Kwatwe is clean water and working out. We're not drinking this water. This is the south water because we have here, but we are not of which each new well has been a huge relief, always a fixed value in the community. Nami huchimba ni kakikisha ni metoa maji safi, kisha utumia matofali, cement na mchanga kwa kujenga iso visima. Hili ni kakikisha kwamba vinatoa maji safi, yale ambayo nafuraisha. Michael Barasa, our borehole engineer, faces a challenge of lack of adequate tools and finances for drilling boreholes in some areas. So everything we are doing here is to eradicate poverty and to give some people future. And we are also aiming the very, very needy in the community this is our program. Auf die Toilette gehen können und äh, jetzt bin ich das zweite Mal hier und wir haben gesehen, dass unsere Arbeit Früchte trägt. Es ist also alles sehr zum Vorteil des Waisenhauses und es hat richtig Spaß gemacht, wieder hier zu sein. Man sieht auch die Pläne. Es soll ja ein neues Haus gebaut werden, in dem dann die heranwachsenden Kinder eine Ausbildung erhalten können. Und da wurde heute der Spatenstich getätigt. Wir hoffen nun, dass auch in diesem Jahr unsere Arbeit, die ich zusammen mit meinem Freund Loda Leinweber verrichten durfte, auch wieder Früchte trägt und irgendwann äh, die Kinder positiv hier uh, sich entfalten können. To do this work is my joy to do this work and uh, when people join us to do it is my happiest moment. So I would like somebody to come and visit us. This is my happiest moment to experience this. <laughs>